Well, the young Puerto Rican who's quite brilliant and is from the Bronx is the star of PBS Kids' newest series, Ama's Way. Her name is Summer Rose Castillo, and when we last saw her, she had just begun voicing the title character, Alma. Tonight, the big debut. Here's a look. Let's have some fun. Woohoo! Whoa! Sis, roll over! <laughs> <laughs> Am I good or what? You are more than good. Please welcome to the show the star of Alma's Way, Summer Rose Castillo. Hello, Summer. Hello, Marisol. It's so great to see you again. It's so great to see you also. And thank you for making time in your very busy schedule because you have had quite a busy few months. So first of all, congratulations on the debut. What thank can, you. It's, it's debuting tonight. What can viewers expect on the first episode? Can you, can you explain that? So tonight when people watch the show, what, what, tell them what they, pre prepare them for what they're going to see on TV. Well, they're going to prepare for Alma's Way and what she's really about. And they're finally going to see what, what problem Alma has and how she is going to solve it. And also what the bubble next to her head is going to look like and what she is thinking about during that thing through in her bubble. So tell us, tell us who Alma is and what similarities you and Alma have. Well, Alma is a little six-year-old girl. She's from the Bronx with her little, with her family. And she loves her family and friends as much as I do. We're both Puerto Rican. And whenever Alma just has a problem, she loves to take a moment and she thinks it through. So that way she doesn't have to like, mm, how could I say it? Make a, make a quick decision that maybe not be the best decision. Yeah, she doesn't have to stress with, mm -hmm. her, with her decision. She takes a moment and see which one is right because then if she picks the wrong one, she might pretty much end up with a big problem at the end. You, so, you, you told me Alma is six years old? Yeah, she is six years old. Well, I have to tell you, the way you just described Alma as being six years old and be, being so mindful about making decisions, I think adults should probably watch this show, too. Yes, because sometimes, you know, when they're doing work, sometimes they're, they're stressed mm -hmm. and they're having hard um, times having to dis the, decide right. which, which one they have to do. Like okay, am I going to do ELA or am I going to do math first with my yeah. student? Right. Gosh, you are so wise. I absolutely love you. I love this journey that we've been on with you. So the show was created by Sonia Manzana, Maria from Sesame Street. Um, how did you t prepare to be the voice of Alma? We were just showing some pictures of you doing some voiceovers. What did you do? How, did, did Sonia coach you at all? Did your parents coach you? I know they're also in the arts, but walk us through what you did to be this, this voiceover actor. So actually my mom would be doing auditions and I would rehearse with her with her lines and what she has to say. And so while she is doing all of these auditions and rehearsals, it really inspired me to become an actor just like her. And now because of all those days that I've been watching her, um, here I am doing Alma's Way, created by Sonia Manzana. And I just, I just really want to thank my mother for inspiring me. That is so sweet. And full disclosure, I've known your mom for many years now, and it's a very talented family. So congratulations on that. So now that you have school, right? You're a daughter, you're a sister, you're a friend and a cousin, and, and you've got this Alma's way and you have another another film role that I'll ask you about a little bit later but how do you balance doing all of these things do you ever have time to just be a kid well sometimes I have time to be a kid which is over the weekends of course <laughs> because you know you just get to relax but during the week it's I have a very busy schedule during the week because Monday I have school like right now today I have school but um, my mom emailed my teacher saying that I'm going to be going to school late and my <laughs> teacher and my teacher was okay with that. So, um, but eventually you're going to have to make up that work later, right? Yes, I am. I'm but so actually, sorry. But actually I've been, um, I've been doing it during the week and over the weekend. Like, oh my goodness. 
like I would go to Google Classroom and, and get it would of say, it? yes, it would say missing and whatever's missing, I would check you my work, right I would do it. And then yes, so that way over the week while I am in school, I don't have to like worry about all of my homework. And if I just missed one thing, then my teacher would tell me and I would do it. And that's it. Summer, I apologize for pulling you away from school, but it sounds like you have a very great program. You're planning, you're organized. If you need help on any of the work that you missed today, give me a call and I'll help you. <laughs> I, used to, I, used to, I used to be a teacher and I don't want you to get in trouble. Really? You used to be a teacher? That's a long time ago. I was a lot younger. Not very interesting. Oh, wow. Summer Rose Castillo, we absolutely love and adore you. We are so proud of you. Congratulations on everything that you're doing and continuing to do. And uh, tell them again what the name of the show is and where people can watch it. So the name of the show is Emma's Way, and actually you could see it right now on Channel 13. I just checked it out. I was literally screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> and we're screaming too. Thank you so much, Summer. Thank you so much, Marisol. I hope you have a great day. Oh, oh my goodness, goodness so gracious. Stop it. Oh, Love her. Goodness.